All right, let me get my cursor going here so you guys can see this a little bit better. All right, the first thing you're going to do is maybe you have to make a bunch of labels for something and you need each kid to have 10 labels that has some information on it. Or maybe you need name badges or certificates. Whatever it is, just go ahead and design that within Canva. And I've kind of put little names here because that's what I need to enter in data. So I need to be able to put these placeholders in here so I can make sure I have the right font and spacing and so on and so forth. Sometimes I even still make mistakes at that point. The next thing you're going to do, let me move my screencastify little thing here. You're going to click this little waffle down here called apps and you're going to type in here bulk create. And it should come up with a little button here, bulk create. Now you could enter data manually and it would come up with this little spreadsheet looking thing. Um, Kind of handy if you don't need to do a ton, you could just enter it manually. We're gonna go ahead and close out of there. I wanna upload a CSV because I've done some work with a JMC file that I received and I have it all ready to go. So I'm gonna open that CSV. And now I'm ready to put these fields over here. So I'm going to right click connect data and I'm gonna go ahead and um, Click name, there it is. And then I'm gonna click, right click, connect data, class. I'm just gonna go through these. Title, right click, connect data, title, medium, and here we go, medium. Okay. Now I have all those, oh, title didn't stick. Let me do it again, connect data, title. Come on. There it goes. Okay, so I have all these with parentheses or those little bracket things, whatever you call those little doohickeys, and it should be ready to go now. I can click the purple button down here that says continue. And it's gonna give me a list of all these and it looks good, it may, may not work. We're gonna give it a whirl here. It'll generate them, but I might not like the look of it and I can go ahead and um, mess with it a little bit more too. All right, so now I have all my labels, which is kind of handy. I don't have to type those all out. And if I wanna print those, I can just go ahead and share those and I can download it as a PDF for print, go ahead and download. Okay. And now that PDF, whoop, it didn't go, but click here might be my internet here. When I download that, I can send it to my printer just like any other PDF. And I can say 10 up if I want it to be a business card or um, that would give me 10 business cards for each paper. If you need to print something at Hometown Press, they, um, they know how to do that. Email it to them, say, here's my business card or my name card. I need these printed 10 up. Please cut them also. And they'll go ahead and do that. But this is just kind of handy way to um, make a lot of labels or tags or certificates with just a few clicks here and there. So hopefully that'll save you some time. And... Um, yeah, hope, hope I can have you get some time saved and also uh, share some things with your students that maybe they could do this also.